White House and Texas. It's all over a letter from President Obama sent out to every public school in the land. The message allowed transgender students to use the bathroom of their choice. Dan Patrick is the Republican Lieutenant Governor of Texas. He's joining me live today from Dallas exclusively. Uh, Lieutenant Governor, the White House just slammed you uh, in a statement, and I want you to listen to it and respond. Here's Josh sure. Ernest. I have to give you a chance to respond to the Texas uh, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick. He yeah. sent us a letter, uh, called the letter blackmail, and he said um, that the administration is just doing everything it can to. Uh, or he said this is about dividing, uh, it's going to divide the country, and it has everything to do with keeping the federal government out of local issues. Yeah. Well, I think this does underscore the risk of uh, electing a right-wing radio host to a statewide elected office. And your response, Mr. Lieutenant Governor? Uh, you know, when they attack you personally, they've already lost the argument, Gretchen. Good to be with you. You know, what I said today, and by the way, I was thrust into this because this past Tuesday, the Fort Worth School District, which has a direct connection to the Obama administration, uh, they passed a similar policy, circumventing the school board, circumventing the parents. And I had to step in because the parents had no choice. You don't have local control when you circumvent the school board. The president last night, just like the superintendent, his friend in Fort Worth, circumvented Congress, circumvented the people. And what he said in this policy is, if you don't follow my guidelines, I will withhold federal funding from you. That's blackmail. And, and we've already said, I'm here at the Republican Convention, 7,000 delegates, the largest in the world. Right. And I've gotten standing ovations all day when I've made this statement. We will not be blackmailed by the president's 30 pieces of silver. If they want to keep their money, keep their money. They're not going to buy our children. They're not going to tell families what to do. We will find a way in Texas to find the dollars if they want to pull the money. And by the way, Gretchen, I don't even think the president or, or Mr. Ernest even knows this, but most of the money we get from the federal government, about $10 billion over two years, most of that is for free lunch and free breakfast. So if the president wants to pull funds because families in Texas and all America don't want 14-year-old boys showering with 14-year-old girls and 8-year-old boys going to the bathroom with 8-year-old girls, well, he'll actually be taking money from the poorest of the poor. He will be ending the free breakfast and free lunch program because that's most of the funding we get. This okay. is outrageous, Gretchen. It will not stand. It's going to divide the country. And I think it's going to be a big issue, by the way, in the presidential campaign. Yeah, well, you know, many people, I just said in my take a couple minutes ago that obviously this is political because this administration believes that this will be a negative for the Republican running for office or any other Republican running for, for uh, Congress in November. But here's an interesting statement that you said. You said transgender bathrooms will be the end of public education. Why? Because parents aren't going to send their children to schools that force their children to shower together or go to the bathroom together. So there'll be an explosion in home schools. Uh, there will be an explosion in school choice. I think you'll see school choice legislation passed everywhere now. Uh, the other reason, uh, Gretchen, that the president is wrong about this, last year the city of Houston that had a lesbian mayor, very popular, pushed forth an ordinance to allow men in women's bathrooms, not at schools, but adults. Right. Um, we went to the Supreme Court of Texas. We got to put on the ballot because the mayor tried to do what the president is doing, just push this down the throats of the people, and there was an election. And we won that election, defeating the ordinance two to one in Houston, which is a heavily Democrat city. You see, it doesn't matter if you're a Democrat or Republican. You care about your kids, mm -hmm. and you just... The, this doesn't fit the value system with 98 or 99 percent of American families. You know, so he's going to lose with Democrats. And if he wants to make this an issue because Hillary Clinton supports this issue, when Donald Trump fights back, uh, this will hand a lot of votes, a lot of Democrat votes to Donald Trump. Well, and by the way, Gretchen, yes. this is important. This is not about bullying or harassment or not respecting a transgender student. In fact, we support the issues where there's no harassment or no bullying. You can make accommodations. School districts today, what are they doing today with transgender students? First of all, it's very few, but they usually provide a private bathroom. They provide private facilities. But in his guidelines, the president, Gretchen, says, no, that's not good enough. True. You can't create private facilities. They must co-mingle with other students. He is forcing this down to the public as he leaves office in a few months. This will end up at the Supreme Court at some level. And it will Definitely. be decided, and it will be a major decision. But It'll be a major decision because they, they're not, transgenders are not given protected status right now. Uh, that will undoubtedly go to the Supreme Court. I just want to let our viewers know, and I know you know this, uh, three-tenths of one percent of all Americans have gender dysphoria. 
So three tenths of one percent. Of course, we want to have a safe environment if in sure. fact you are experiencing Absolutely. that. But I think a lot of people today are asking the question that you are putting forward, which is should the 99 percent of the rest of the American public make these adjustments uh, based on the it, fact that, yeah. that it's a huge adjustment for them. And so many unanswered questions. We could do an entire hour on this, we, Lieutenant we Governor. Uh, unfortunately, we're out of time, but we, we sincerely appreciate your time today. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for having me on.